That's what he did. You know, so, and then they speak of his actions with amazement and wonder. And for McMurphy, he was um, in page two hundred twenty-one. He, um, Billy Bibbit was uh, his special friend, and uh, he described McMurphy as his hero when during the meeting with uh, Nurse Ratched. And also, I also noticed that um, both of the tales ended in tragic endings. So, for Hard Rock, he went from taking no shit from nobody, kind of thing, to you know. Uh, taking, you know, that's in lines one and two, to ending up as a kind of, oh, ending up on a wheelchair, you know, taking a, three minutes to tell you his name, sorry? Um, maybe we can save this talk for later, but right now you should, you should say what, um, if there's anything you're wondering about, so we can, we can come up with a question. So, is there anything that you're wondering about? Like, right now? Yeah. No, I'm cool. For the two stars. What, like why do yeah I know but this <laughs> anyway anyway keep going yeah. yeah that's that's it for now for now for now yeah okay so um something that I am wondering about is people like Hard Rock and McMurphy why do they act this way like you know breaking the rules and and even though they know that or they might not know. That the, that the system is more powerful than them. And then, yeah, they ended up being defeated like that. Like, why do they act this way? Like, mm. What I wonder is the, the environment that both Hard Rock and McMurphy, they are both in the hospital, and the, and the, the environment of the hospital, they are a kind of thing. And, I want to know like what others feels about feels about Mike Murphy and Hard Hard Rock. Like would they they are fighting for other patients but like if but after at 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 the end of the both story, both of them they are defeated. And are the other patients like going to like miss him or it or going to like continue fighting? Mm. Yeah, like take over their job to continue fighting, fighting the oh. combine. So you're trying to. So you you kind of also trying to find out why they act this way. Like, are is are they doing it for the sake of, um, of uh, helping other patients? Yeah. And if the patient like patients after them, they start doing what they do. Yeah, like, and things like that. Yeah, I think they may be like trying to send a send a message mm -hmm. to other mm -hmm. patients to tell yeah. them to stand up for themselves to fight. Yeah. And if and if their message like were sent, if other patients like get their message. Yeah. And yeah. So, can we agree? Can we agree on the question that we want to know? Why do, why does McMurphy and Hard Rock act like, the way they do? Because um, they didn't uh, give up uh, for their rights. They were struggling, and then they didn't give up. So this makes them a hero. Uh, so they act like this because uh, I think they have like uh, nothing to lose because. Uh, they know that uh, the end of this uh, uh, journey is um, like a dead end. Uh, there's no happy ending. Uh, so uh, they stay um, with their uh, speech and they never give up. So I guess that's why they act like this, they behave like this. So what you're trying to say is that they were willing to, willing to take the risk to um, put their life in danger even though if it means that harm is going to be done onto them. But then also you're saying that even they know that their end is not going to be a good one, so they just they don't care, you know, might as well just do something that is going to, like, please their, I don't know, their ego or, like, do things that they feel like they want to do. Yeah, yeah I think uh, because they had, like, enough of life, uh, like, they had enough problems, and now, uh, like, uh, mentally, uh, they they're like. Uh, 
and mentally they're depressed like and they lose their um, strength to like um, be like successful or whatever and they're just struggling to um, change something that they can't because mm -hmm. uh, like they don't have any power so they have no um, no nothing to lose so they do it because they have no power Even they, even they are like already in a bad condition. But if they like, they they don't fight the combat, they don't fight the season. They still can live, like at least they still can live, like and die in peace. But they fight and both of them and and like, like one like, and with like, being a fool and the other one and like vegetables. But mm -hmm. they still fight for their rights and fight for like other patients. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's right. Like, what's the point of living? Um, like, uh, like the same pattern to the end of his like life. Uh, so he's not gonna live like that. Uh, he wants to make some changes. So uh, because he wants to make some changes, he has to act. Mm, he has to do something for it. That's my opinion. Yeah. What I think in the case of McMurphy, it's like, not that he knows he's going to, like, uh, have a bad end anyway, because he was actually planning on, like, running away. But then I feel like it was, it's something that, like, he was just rebelling against the, combo like, against Miss Ratchet. And he was just trying to, trying to prove that he can get her. And, and that she's not as powerful like the combine but then yeah uh, but then you know his attempt to actually run away wasn't successful so um, I feel like he he wasn't like depressed like oh whatever I'm just gonna do whatever I want because I'm gonna end up um, um, you know like, like bad anyway yeah yeah like I'm freedom like and I'll be just like every, every other Christian <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. I, I think like like he thinks it's better than like end up end up like that hero is better than end up like do nothing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you know his emotions always like carry him to like doing things. You know, like when he ended up like ripping uh, the uh, Miss Ratchet's um, uniform. That was out of anger, Yeah, right? that was out of anger because of uh, yeah. uh, Billy Bibbitt's death. So just wait, just, we're trying to figure out why Murphy does what he does, right? Oh, why and the characters... And, like, both of the characters. Both do. Okay. But then also, like, you, you see Hard Rock, he's, like, pretty much, like, if you're describing McMurphy, they're, like, so identical, you know? Like, with the scar, they, like, um, Hard Rock has, it says here, his yellow eyes and one long scar that cut across his temple. But then you have uh, McMurphy, he had a scar on his nose, yeah. right? And then both of them, like, really did, didn't want to take no crap from nobody. Like, they just wanted to do their thing and prove that they're, you know, powerful. Yeah, but... I think uh, one of the things that uh, came to my mind now is that mm, they don't afraid of any anything or like anybody anymore. So they don't care about like uh, other people or other powers because uh, their mind has been like changed and uh, their mind is different from others. Uh, as you know, um, chef, room chef, uh, he said that. Uh, there was fog in front of his eyes, which means like fear, and uh, he was worried. But um, Mike, Mike Murphy wasn't like this. Uh, he, he wasn't afraid of something, anything. Or uh, also hard, hard rock. He wasn't afraid of anything. They just, uh, they didn't give up uh, in any negative points yeah. in their life. Yeah. I think that McMurphy actually was afraid at some point when he realized that Miss the the nurse was had the ability to actually keep him in there for as long as she wants. That's when he actually started like obeying and being like better um, to the rules. But then after that, he started breaking that again, you know, which is something I don't really understand that much. Yeah. yeah. Um. 
So well, what we're trying to um, figure out is like, why did he act that way, mm -hmm. right? Um, and same with the Hard Rock. Like, why was he like yeah. McMurphy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. And like Hard Rock, Hard Rock, like he sent and with like he had been like cut off a part of his screen and show electricity and become become like a fool. And that that he's no one crazy nigger anymore. But even even he become like he become like this. But every patient still remember him, still remember the thing he had done. Like he had been our destroyer, the door of things. And other patients dreamed of doing but could not bring their self to do. Like they remember the I think they they got they get a message that Hadro tried to send it and remember him. And also Mike Murphy like does the thing. Like even he becomes vegetables mm. but other patients like remember them. Mm. And Ch Chief Bowen like want to help him and like like kill him, like to help him. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, and even they, even they, anyway, like they died here. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What I uh, see in the text is that it actually shows us like a uh, part of why McMurphy was acting that way, um, of like you know being a rebel and and like just like doesn't want to listen to someone tell him what to do. Is when he when he talks to Harding and then Harding trying to tell him. Um, that Miss the, the nurse does what's good for them, and that's why they have to obey her and everything. And then he tells him, he's like, "Man, you're talking like a fool. You mean to tell me that you're gonna sit back and let some old, blue-haired woman talk talk you into being a rabbit?" So again, this shows the the nature of McMurphy of him not um, having to be uh, put under like a set of rules and laws and trying to like, especially let a woman control him and tell him what to do, right? So this might be one of the reasons why McMurphy. He is like a rebel to the combine. Yeah. So, uh, my opinion about that question is um, they're trying their last chance because um, their life is going to be uh, like uh, the same um, to the end. So, uh, they have. Uh, they have to do something before they die because if they don't do anything and uh, they just live uh, like the same thing every year and then they die so uh, I think um, that McMurphy was uh, strugg struggling to uh, make a change and uh, be like um, a top, uh, be like a hero so um, this is the same thing with Hard Rock uh, that uh, he didn't listen to like anyone, and he was like struggling to um, show everyone that he has he has his power. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking kind of the opposite of what we kind of thought because uh, he said you think that they're they know they're ending right they're, they haven't been ending. I think they know. I think they don't know that they're gonna have an ending. They think. I think they're just. They think they're really strong and that powerful and they can do anything that they want without you know but they don't know the consequences of their actions so they just keep doing these things and you know they don't uh, take in mind that uh, they're actually not that powerful com uh, compared to the, the system so like the mm. combine or the doctors so that's why I'm thinking that they don't ri they don't know that they're gonna have a bad ending so yeah. they do the things that they do because they think they're, they're gonna be able to keep on doing what they're doing so. Okay, so we have like less than a minute left, so just to summarize is that, so I guess what we came up with so far is that uh, um, McMurphy and Harding, um, they're, they're the kind of personalities that don't like to take things from others, and they want to uh, do life their way, like in excitement and like kind of danger, risky kind of thing. And so one connection I can make to this is that my friend once told me about her friend, which actually was kind of a rebel to her parents, and she actually ended up being locked top and like in the house for like a long time so it's kind of similar to to the ending of Hard Rock and McMurphy because they both actually end up with their um, like emotions taken out of them pretty much and then uh, they can't really do anything um, so yeah so we learned that sometimes uh, no matter how uh, strong we think we are there's always a more powerful uh, 
group or anything uh, that is stronger than us that might take us down. Okay, we're done. Close it up.